A local animal shelter is facing concerns about the future. Severe overcrowding could force Cedar Bend Humane Society to make some very difficult decisions. Our own Lily Seardall is now live from there this morning to tell us more about how you can help. Lily? Yeah, Katie and Ryan, shelter officials say they've seen a higher animal intake compared to years past. In fact, every cage and kennel here at the Humane Society is already accounted for. The shelter currently has more than 500 animals in their care. For context, the shelter typically sees between 200 to 300 animals at any given time. And many of these animals come into the shelter with medical issues and therefore live in their care for an extended period of time. With so many animals coming in, Executive Director Christy Gardner says the shelter can no longer take owner surrenders and may even be left with the difficult decision of putting some animals down. I've been working here for about 25 years and this is probably one of the tough, toughest summers that I've seen. We're, we're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. We typically do not euthanize due to space. Like we, you know, if it's an adoptable animal, we will do everything in our power to find it a home. And we are gonna continue to do that. But I, I will say we as shelter workers, it, it is worrisome to us because we can only do what we can do. To help alleviate the overcrowding issue, the Cedar Bend Humane Society is waiving adoption fees for animals that have been living at the shelter for 90 days or more, which there are about 70 to 80 animals that fall under that category. Gardner says the shelter is also launching a wellness program for the public to utilize in hopes of decreasing the amount of animal surrenders. People can come to us for low-cost vaccinations, spay-neuter, um, flea tick preventative, that's kind of all wellness services. Um, they get free veterinary exam, that type of thing. I mean, it's in no way meant to replace a regular veterinarian and we're not treating like sick or injured animals for the public, but if we can help in any way and somebody can come to us and get um, some help in wellness services and that will keep their pet in their home, then we're gonna do that. To learn more about the current services the shelter offers, you can visit, visit rather, cedarbendhumane.org slash services. And they say, of course, the community support will help in this time of overcrowding as well. Of course, they're welcoming in supply donations. Of course, there's a big donation box right here in front of the Cedar Bend Humane Society or they're encouraging monetary donations as well. Of course, for more information on the current overcrowding issue, you can visit our website, kwl.com. For now, live in Waterloo, Lily Cedar Dawn, News 7, KWL.